Hey everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm doing your monthly reading for the month of April 2020. This is going to be for the sign of Capricorn. So let's see what's coming up for Capricorns for the month of April starting today. While I'm shuffling the cards, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So just pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. <clears throat> you can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. You, if you haven't checked it out yet, check the you know link to my Insta profile in the uh, description box. You can also check out my sister's channel. I will be leaving the link to her channel in the comment section if you like it to become a part of her YouTube family as well. So um, as I did for the remaining stars, uh, uh, you know I, I won't be taking much. Uh, clarifiers for the situation that I'm going to pick up with these cards here. Um, I will be getting in details as, as we start, uh, you know, the weekly readings uh, for all signs. But in this one, I will just add some charms and one oracle card from the Romance and Oracles and, uh, you know, just the tarot. So let's see what is heading towards the Capricorns in the month of uh, April. So, yeah, let's begin the reading. Let's begin. The star, Perapoed, Temperance. High Priestess, Perapoed, Nine of Wands. Underneath the deck, you do have uh, Strength, underneath that, Two of Swords, underneath that, the Tower, underneath that, Nine of Swords, underneath that, Three of Swords. Um, I feel like, you know, for for majority of you, you might have been having some sort of... Uh, um, not so positive things happening in your life uh, lately and uh, and I feel like you know whatever that was happening in your life as you walk into the month of uh, April I feel like you know, things will start getting better for you uh, but I, at the same time I just see you having um, it's it's more like you know even though like you know it doesn't have to be your love life but I feel like you know it's gonna be more of your love life energy because you know that's why you are having your guards up uh, as you walk into the month of April, you you might have been through a lot in your love life lately, and it's like um, you are basically like you know uh, trying to be strong enough not to get into any of you know uh, any of the love and relationship situation again, not at least anytime soon because you have been through a lot, and there is this fear I feel like you know which is uh, which is like you know going to make you have your guards up around it. But having said that. Um, this time is definitely the month of April is definitely going to be something very positive for your own personal growth because you are going to tap into your own power. You are going to, you know, get aligned with your life purpose is what I'm picking up because you will be so close to nature. You will be so close to your higher self. You will be so close to your spirit guides as well. So for those of you who are struggling with those energies as of now as well or in the beginning of the month as well, I would suggest you to tap into that energy, tap into the source pray, affirm, uh, you know, meditate, because that's going to bring you closer to the nature, closer to your life purpose as well. And that's going to help you come out of uh, whatever that, that, that caused you pain in the past. Um, it's, it's again, with the two of swords paired up with the strength, like, you know, you can deal with the situation in two ways. One, get stuck in that situation that didn't work out well for you and, you know, feel lost and, you know, feel like, you know, trapped in a situation like that. The other thing that you can do is, to come out of it as a stronger person even if you need to have your guards up for for some time it's okay to have that up as long as it is you know helping you in one way or the other to to uh, towards your you know having the personal growth which i do see coming through for majority of you in the month of april let's take some cards for your love life though let's see what is coming up for you in your love life specifically in the month of april let's see because this is something which i feel like you know is going to be a general energies that you that you are going to tap into as you in, enter into the month of april but um, let's find out what else do we have coming up for capricorns for their love life specifically in the month of april i'm not going to include these cards let's see the star again four of pentacles the strength again and then the moon underneath the deck you do have the two of swords again and it's like uh, a confirmation of that energy coming in your love life strongly than any other area of your life as well um i feel like you know um you are hopeful around your love and relationships but at the same time you feel like you know having yourself out of this you know love scenario as of now will be the best thing that you could do to yourself 
but again as long as it is like helping you to strengthen your bond with yourself it's all good if it does make you feel like you know uh like you know going into the negative loop of thoughts and all those negative patterns don't let that happen i would suggest you to be out and about try to have friends try to you know no doubt spending some time alone would benefit you a lot if you do it in a positive way if you just you know stay home if you don't you know uh talk to people much and if you if you just you know stay isolated just um just to be feel just to kind of you know let that sadness soak into your soul don't do that if you if you could you know use this time to bring the goodness in yourself and you know let it come out in 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 your uh, reality as well do that otherwise i would not suggest you to um to stay alone for for longer period because it it might you know uh, scar you mentally emotionally and physically as well so don't let that happen use this power if you feel like you know staying away from people is going to benefit you do that but if you think staying away is going to scar you even further emotionally don't let that happen um but i feel like you know you are taking some time off from um you know being in that <clears throat> excuse me being in that zone where you are you know you i feel like you know you would like to have your guards up in um, in the month of uh, april um let's take some card uh, one card from the romance and oracle cards let's see what it has to add to the reading for the capricorns <clears throat> For those of you, <clears throat> hold on. Yeah, for those of you who are uh, who are already in a committed relationship, I feel like you know you will have your guards up against your person. I don't know why, but I do see that again. But even if you have your guards up against that person as well, you really have to. Um, for some of you, I feel like maybe you are going to have your guards up because you have the fear of losing your uh, power to this person. in one way or the other there there is this fear that that's going to hold you uh, back from this person um maybe you are going to feel like you know if if you listen to what they say they they might you know uh, start the uh, i don't know there there is a fear of my being manipulated by by them in 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 that situation too if you are in a committed relation again don't let your mind uh you know um dictate you to do something which is not going to work for you in your favor if it is strengthening the bond then it's all good but if it is you know affecting the relationship in a negative way don't hold yourself back from this person or this connection that you are having already with a certain someone so um the energies could be reversed as well for some of you so just pick however it's, uh, it is resonating with you in your situation let's take one card from the romance and joy of cards and then we will proceed with the uh, charms you do have children your love life is being affected by children Um I feel like you know again um for some of you you might be behaving like a child like you know um it's um it's again the same thing that I just mentioned like you know for some of you it is going to be like you know the the um somebody is going to you know um I don't know it's it's a, it's more of a, you know that energy where you feel like maybe if if you do what they are asking you to do you would feel like you know maybe I've uh, lost the game or I have lost the power or control over the situation so it's it's again um it could be that for some of you maybe for some of for others of you maybe you have you know arguments around your you know kids if you are married and if you have kids with your person I feel like you know it could be because of that you would feel like maybe they are you know controlling the situation the home life more than you so maybe that could be the reason why there will be some sort of you know um unsettling energies around your home life that i do see because of the you know you having your guards up you really need to you know allow things to happen don't be fearful of uh, you know those kind of uh, egoistic issues i would say because there's more of a ego energy here where you are you know having your guards up or you are you know um you are just not able to see the uh, the the other side of the story like you know if if you are already in a committed relationship i feel like you really need to understand their perspective as well as you know just allow them to understand yours and try to understand theirs because that's going to ease things up let's take one more card from the romance and oracle cards let's see what it has to add to the reading float extend your life-hearted energy to each other that's exactly what you need to do don't uh, 
you know, th- there is this, you know, one dominant energy in this connection that you have already with a certain someone. And maybe that's why you feel like, you know, uh, they are pretty uh, um, commanding in, in, in this relationship, which is why you are going to have your guards up is what I'm picking up. Uh, be that you having your guards up or be that the person that you are dealing with, they will have their guards up. But I feel like, you know, whoever is having the guards up, the other person is going to feel like, you know, you are, you know, uh, being the dominant one in the connection. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm picking up. Let's take some charms now. Let's see what the charms has to add to the reading for the month of April for the Capricorn. <clears throat> You do have H and E, so it becomes he. Um, maybe for some of you, the dominant one is going to be the masculine energy. Um, these could be the name initials of the person that you are dealing with. You do have a C as well. So C, H, E is the, <clears throat> are the alphabets that you have. You do have Eight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Uh, there is definitely going to be a lot of uh, self-sabotaging energies that you will be having around you. Uh, be that coming from yourself, be that coming from the person that you are dealing with. So don't let that affect your relationship in a negative way. Again, if you see that happening or you see that coming from a person that you are with the, uh, in a relationship with or you are you know, meeting someone new who has those energies uh, around you, I would suggest you to, um, again, tap into your own power, tap into the, you know, your uh, psychic nature and try to you know, get yourself busy doing something which is going to help you to, to be a better person. And, uh, you know, it will help you get lose um, the focus on to that person, that relationship. And it's going to help you in one way or the other for sure. So um, play some good music if, uh, if uh, that makes you feel good. Um, because I feel like, you know, the, the home situation, like I said, being isolated could be good. But it's, I do see negative energies around it. So if, if um, try to get yourself busy doing something that will keep you happy, keep you feel uh, feeling light as well. Try try not to be um, argumentative, if that's a word. Like, you know, don't pick up arguments with this person. Um, I feel about you um, makes my heart long to be free. So again, um, I feel like, you know, uh, the person that you are dealing with, or it could be your own energy too. Uh, there is this like, you know, since the this one person is dominant in this connection, it's like, you know, the other person is very scared of them. And they're, you know, they do have the fear of them getting, um, you know, losing their control maybe, or, you know, having the, uh, uh, I don't know, there, there is this, um, somebody gets easily tempted uh you know in in a wrong way i would say so that's what i'm picking up so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for the capricorns for the month of uh april 2020 if the reading resonates with you do like subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal reading you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you guys take care Bye bye